Wolf pack, wolf pack, wolf pack, wolf pack. Stop saying wolf pack. On these newly melted roads, in this charmingly small Midwestern home, the examination continues. Here we observe a typical Minnesotan dinner party with beers discounted from breweries that have bearded employees wearing plaid flannels and Irish driving caps for absolutely no reason. And there's also enough hot dish or casserole to imply that second helpings are obligatory. In spite of the late winter weather, Things are heating up around the dinner table as the grudge rages on. In their silent but mutual contempt, shrouded in laughter and smiles, we, the observers, are beginning to understand that the warmth of their overcoats, their sweaters, and even the hot dish is not enough to melt their icy hearts. After the casserole incident, the Olsons invite over their neighbors and mortal enemies, the Kaminskis, in an attempt to reclaim some of their lost pride. So then the Norwegian says to the Taco Bell cashier, Oh, I thought it was soup! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marsh. Say, did I ever show you that new softener we just put in? Hmm. You guys got a new water softener? Oh, oh yeah, just put it in last week. Things a oh, beast. Good for you. What kind of output you got on that? 1,200 gallons an hour. It's crazy, man. You guys crystals or pellets? Well, we're pellet people over here. So are we. I mean, a few extra dimes a bag, but it goes a long way. Well, I think it makes all the difference. We should go check it out. Oh, absolutely. Oh. A bit of a creaker here, Larry. Yeah, yeah, we noticed that one last weekend. We were bringing in the Christmas decoration. I got some shims back at the house. I can fix that up for you. No oh, nonsense. You know, just haven't gotten quite around to it. You know how it goes. Well, you certainly had enough time to plow out my driveway a few weeks ago. That was real neighborly of you. Of course, of course. Anything for some fine neighbors such as yourself. Oh my god, she's a beaut. Yeah, yeah, take a look. Went a little crazy down there at Menards, but it was the 11% rebate, so we figured, what the hell, let's just go for it. Huh, who soldered those pipes? Yeah, they turned out a little rough, but uh, it was free, you know, part of the delivery service. Yeah, so. free, figures. Mm. Well, you know, I got some plumbing experience. I can come over here and clean these up for you. I wouldn't want you to go through all that trouble. Oh, no, come on, it's no trouble at all. What do we got, like, three, four? Four joints, it's an afternoon, it's nothing. No, I uh, think you've done quite enough there, Mark. You know, I've uh, tried to be a good guy, good neighbor to you, but uh, I think this shit's gone a little too far, don't you think? I took that hot dish right here on the chin. Yeah, you like that hot dish? Oh, it was cheesy. It was delicious. Filled me right up. Good. I'm glad it filled you up. That's what I'm aiming for. Yeah, I think Pam wants that recipe from me. Oh, guys. she did? Yeah. I can get you that recipe. Oh, Not a problem. Could, you can give me that recipe. Out, cut it out. No! We need to settle this here and now. You want to play all these games with me, Mark? Oh, I love playing games, Larry. Yeah, like you love playing games, I got all kinds of them upstairs. Let's Great, I can play games all night with yeah, you if you want. Let's get some out. Here's a game I like playing. You ever heard of golf? Oh, golf. I'm a great golfer, You're actually. Golfer. I love going golfing. That's yeah. great. Yeah, my balls are all cleaned up ready for you. Got clubs? Yeah. Oh, great. Of course. You ever been to Loons Creek? Loons Creek. Love that place. Mark, yeah. I could probably show you a thing or two down there. You could Creek. show me a thing or two? Oh, I think so. I would be honored if you did. Yeah. I'll tell you what, in exchange for you showing me a few things, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna put our 18 holes on the business account, Ooh. just for you. How do you fancy, like that? Fancy business man oh. with his business accounts over no, here. Maybe, uh, maybe I have to get you back with a couple of apps, maybe a drink or two. Maybe I'll paint your whole fucking house, Mark. <laughs> what are you, Larry? <sighs> no chance in this. You think you're in control? Oh, I think so. I'm always three steps ahead of you, buddy. I had you pegged when you stepped out of that U-Haul over three years ago. <laughs> you Wisconsinites, man. One week you're plowing my driveway and the next you're plowing my wife! Ah! Okay, Mark. Well, let's talk about let's it then. Talk about We're it. down right. here in the basement. Hey, um, so I just wanted to say that I'm 
so sorry that Mark brought that truck back without filling it up first. <laughs> oh gosh, don't be. We didn't even notice. You know, Larry does that stuff without even thinking. It's no sweat. It's, it's just really not like him, you know? Ah, mm. uh, uh, no, thank you. Uh, we're probably gonna be heading out soon and I don't wanna drive home tipsy. You know? Sharon, please, Mark is driving. And besides, I opened the 2005 just for this. Oh, 2005. I guess it's just a night for surprises. You just don't get it, do you, Mark? You just don't get it. You think you can win with all these little casseroles and favors, but uh, the thing you didn't know is that I'm like the engine in a 97 Polaris Indy 500 Mark. I just keep running. Ooh, we spill a little gas here and there. Fuck it. I just keep running. And I won't quit. Oh, fuck no, I won't quit. I'm just gonna send it. Just gonna send it? Just gonna send it. Yeah, well, that's all good and fine, Larry. You know, it's, I, I appreciate the spirit. I really do. It's, it's, it's almost admirable. But, see, the problem is said, I've already sent it. Shit, I was at the post office over a week ago. Stamped, licked, and slotted. Slotted. You check your mail yet today, Larry? Well, got your long johns there, Larry. I took out the 2005. Letter from Mark and Sharon. What could it be? Oh my gosh. Tickets to the Bahamas. Oh, it's nothing. I got them free as a bonus at work, and I figured, you know. Who better to go with us than our dear old neighbors? Right, and it's either that or you house it for us while we're gone. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, uh, that's, that's great. You guys are, you guys are the best. Well, we should probably be going, mm. but you two think about what kind of swimsuits you're going to wear while we're there. Oh, and Mark, that reminds me, we should probably stop at Target and check out their selection. Mm, it's going to no. be a little sparse in the winter time. Huh. Thank you guys for dinner. Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, uh, it's Mark, it's just, you don't have to do this. You know, we were actually thinking about making our own. Yeah, don't worry about it, okay, Larry? I mean, tickets are already booked, first class. You know, it's just, uh, it's too much, Mark. Too much? Nothing is too much for our best friends. No, Mark, look, I'll, uh, I'll let you borrow anything, man. I'll shovel for you. It's over, Larry. Just get your fucking sunscreen. Mark! surface it seems, the battle is all but won, and from behind enemy lines no less. But it would be a practice in ignorance to declare this disease eradicated. It's like the Ouroboros, the snake devouring its own tail. The cycle of the Minnesota nice is seemingly endless. You see, it's resentment that causes contempt and transforms that into a grudge. It's only when the Midwesterner decides to have an act of kindness out of sheer benevolence instead of some internal obligation. And that is when the awesome grip of the grudge is broken. <laughs>